What's going on everybody? It is Alex from Everything for iPod and today I have a review of the NFC tags available from tagsfordroid.com. These are NFC tags which stand for Near Field Communication and if you're unaware of what this technology does, uh, you can use these little chips that uh, have a little piece of electronics inside and you actually program them using your smartphone to perform certain tasks on your smartphone. So they're all programmable using your device and then they perform actions on your device. And I'll show you exactly how that works. So there's a ton of different companies that makes NFC tags. This happens to be, like I said, tagsfordroid.com. They make a really good product for a few different reasons. One, you can get them in a number of different um, varieties, uh, different packs, I should say. So I got a five pack with a keychain, so I got five NFC tags. One of them is already in a different location, and I'll show you where that is in a little bit. And then it also comes with this keychain. You can get 20 packs, 15 packs, whatever you want. Um, there's a ton of different pricing. Now, they do make different types of tags for different devices. So, for example, the Samsung Galaxy S4 uses a different type of NFC tag than the Samsung Galaxy S3. So, it says on their website what tags you should buy for what device. So, uh, a few reasons. Um... One, these are waterproof, unlike a lot of different companies, and they're also plastic. They're made of this uh, credit card-like material, and they also have 3M adhesive on the back, which allows you to stick it anywhere you want. These are also programmable. Um, they're rewritable, so you can change what's programmed into it over 100,000 times. So they last a really long time, and they can hold their data for over 10 years without having to buy a new tag. So that's really neat, and like I said, you get this little keychain too, added benefit. And then something really cool that they include before we get into how they actually work is this little sticker sheet. So they have all these different icons, I should say, on them. And uh, you basically peel these off, you can put it on your NFC tags. So for example, you have a car, so maybe you have one that puts your phone into a car mode that you set up, or a cooking mode, or a house mode where it turns Wi-Fi on. You can stick these on your NFC tags so you remember which tag performs what task. Okay, so now to program the NFC tags and actually start using them. So... Um, you need this app called NFC Task Launcher. It's There's a few different NFC programmers in the Play Store. This one happens to be my favorite. It's free. It's recommended by tagsfordroid.com. So that's why I went with it. And it's really easy to use. So as you can see, I already have one uh, task set up. And that is car mode. Now that enables Bluetooth, launches Spotify, does a few different things that I really like um, and that I set it up for. So that's really neat. I'll show you where that tag is and what it does in a little bit. But um, in here you have an option to buy tags from uh, the app's actual tags. They're not as good as these, but these tags are still compatible with this app. So we're going to program one of these tags. And I'll make this tag uh, maybe my night mode. So I want to... Um, make a new tag and you can select NFC, Bluetooth, or Wi-Fi. We're programming NFC tags. So I'm going to choose NFC and I'm going to make this tag um, my bedtime tag or my nighttime tag. So what I'm going to do is I'm um, just going to bring this up here and kind of get it in focus for you so you can see kind of exactly what I'm doing. And my tag name for task one is going to be uh, sleep mode. And that's my task one. I'm going to add some actions to that. And you can do whatever you want. I'm going to do sounds and volume. And I'm going to turn my ring volume all the way down. Because when I'm sleeping, if I get a text or a call, I don't want my phone to start going off. So automatically, it's going to turn my ringer volume down. I'm also going to turn Wi-Fi off just because I don't really need it. So I'm going to disable Wi-Fi. I'll do one more. You can do a ton. I'm going to set an alarm. I'm going to set the time for, let's say, 7 a.m. I'm not really going to put a message, but there you go. Now I have my alarm set. So now task two is your switch task. So this is if you scan the NFC tag again, what do you want it to do? So... Because I turned um, Wi-Fi off and everything, I'm going to turn it back on when I wake up and turn my ringer back on. 
So I'm going to name the end task sleep mode off. And then I'm going to have my sound. I'm going to go to my ring volume and I'm going to set that all the way up. And that's good for now. Save and write. And now you can include tag name. That's by default. And you can make the tag read only, which will make it um, not be able to be programmed anymore. So you won't be able to change what's on it. I don't recommend doing it unless you're using your NFC tag in a public place, maybe your office and you want people to scan it. You don't want them to change it. Um, that's really the only time I would recommend making it read only. Otherwise, it's good to have these things um, rewritable and be able to change what's on them. So what I'm going to do is just hold it up to my phone. And as you can see, it says tag written successfully. Really easy. And now if I go ahead and just scan my tag now, it will put it into sleep mode, if you can see right there. Turn my ringer off, set an alarm. You can see that up in the notifications bar up there. And if I do it again, sleep mode is now off. Actually, I scanned it twice. It's easier if this is actually stuck onto something. And there you can see that my ringer went back up and that's exactly what I programmed it to do. So there's a ton of different uses. I would be able to stick this onto my nightstand and it would work perfectly. Really neat, but I'm gonna show you how I, how else you can use it um, and get creative with it. Let me know what you do with your NFC tags down in the comments below. But overall, really great product. I'm gonna show you one more use and then wrap it up. But these are great NFC tags. I've run into no problems and they work perfectly. Okay, so excuse this part of the video if it's a little shaky, but I'm in the car and I'm just going to show you the main way I have been using my NFC tags. So if you go into NFC Task Launcher, and sorry for the, it's really shaky, but um, I have a task set up called Car Mode. And what that does is enables Bluetooth and launches Spotify. So Spotify is what I use for my music. Now that doesn't seem like it does much, but um, it really actually helps out. So I have an NFC tag in my car, and to save battery, I don't want Bluetooth on all day. I only want it on while I'm in the car, because that's the only time I really use Bluetooth, is to stream music to the car. So how I have it set up is that it enables Bluetooth, launches Spotify, and then I actually have inside of an app called Tasker, a task set up, well, let me just get back to it, that when I connect, to the Bluetooth called hands-free, and that's what the car Bluetooth is called, it turns on car mode. So I'm not gonna get too in depth with this just cause there's a ton of tutorials on how to use Tasker um, on YouTube. So I recommend downloading it. It's only a few bucks and it's really cool. It's been one of my favorite apps I've used so far on my Android since I got the S4. I've been loving Tasker. If you wanna see a tutorial on it, let me know and I'll show you how to use it. But uh, let me just kind of get in here to car mode. And as you can see, when it connects to that Bluetooth, Tasker is going to turn Wi-Fi off because, of course, I don't need it in the car, so that helps save battery. It's going to turn my ringer volume up so I know if someone's calling me. Again, it's going to load Spotify just in case uh, the, ta the uh, NFC Task one messes up because sometimes it does. It will load it uh, through Tasker. And also, it turns my media volume all the way up. So I'm going to show you exactly how this works. So I'm in the car right now. I have it set to Bluetooth audio. So under the control console of the car, I have stuck an NFC tag right under there, and that's the one I programmed with my car mode. I'm gonna scan it and show you exactly how I have it set up. I have the car set to Bluetooth audio, and one thing worth noting is that the screen of your device must be on in order to scan an NFC tag. So you need to have your device um, awake and the screen on, but it doesn't matter where you are. You can be inside of an app, it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to scan it here. It actually just opened up Spotify right away. Spotify is open right there. I'm just going to kind of load a playlist and play a song. And as you can see, it starts playing automatically in my car. Thanks for watching. Really great products from Tags for Droid. I'll link them down below. Really recommend checking it out. Thanks, guys. I'll catch you later.